Good evening, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 15 minutes past 7 o'clock on the 1st of February 2023. Back with uh, two for tomorrow. One at Fakenham and one on the Goo. Um, no luck today. Our main one didn't run as a... That was the one I really fancied. And uh, the mayor in the bumper... Uh, don't know good a uh, newcomer from uh, Ali Murphy's from the Wheatley owned horse they don't have any bad stock uh, was finally tuned and won first time out and the other one my first impression of the day of that race in A3 was that it wasn't a great race that's why I was disappointed tyre kicker didn't win it and then with two horses winning behind him I thought maybe I under evaluated it but maybe I Maybe I was right the first time. I should have left it alone. But uh, I think that was the first time as well. I tipped a bumper winner or a bumper, tried to tip a bumper winner in a, since I started nearly a year ago. And I won't be doing it again, I think. Uh, you can't know what the newcomers are, how they're... Uh, it was back this morning. But anyway, uh, we'll try and get one for tomorrow. The... The uh, 4.25 at Fakenham. Packet Cootie for David Pipe. Pipe isn't going to bed. He went to this horse open 7-2. to two. But I thought he was slightly unlucky the last day. If he got his run on the rail. We'll just watch it. Uh, he was coming from wind surgery the last time. And the gap closed on the rail. He's a fine big horse. He'll make a good chaser in time. I'd prefer it if to the furlong or too long. Glory, to... Lady Wilbury has travelled right up on the inside. But a nice seam through going into the bend. And he's disputing second. Pasha Kuti three off the rail is close up. Chris Cole moving up into fifth place. Cobden getting to work out. White red jacket on Gillimott. A wider still forecast has made progress from the rear. Pay the pilot struggling now. Bally Camus is struggling. Celo Glass has dropped right out. Here's the uh, second last coming up to them. It was Zestful Hope in front to Pasha. Cootie shaken up by Scudamore on the outer. Lady Wilbury, the star on the cap, is close up. Couple of lengths to Chris Cool in fourth. Then forecast and Bree Brave for Glory as they make the descent to the home turn. Zestful Hope and Lily Pinchin narrowly. Tom Scudamore within a half length on Pacha Cootie. Now Lady Wilbury ridden more firmly in third ahead of Chris Cool who continues to plug on. And it's Zestful Hope with a driven along Pacha Cootie at her quarters. Chris Cool four lengths away, moving up to dispute third place with Lady. Lady Wilbury and then forecast here's the final flight Zestful Hope just running around a little in front slightly intimidating Pacha Kuti on the run in Zestful Hope Pacha Kuti trying to burrow through might have to switch does have to switch Zestful Hope with 50 yards to cover Pacha Kuti not getting any closer Zestful Hope gets home in front from Pacha Kuti they came away from Lady Wilbury Chris Cool in four I thought if you got the run on the rail you might have got up that day he was running off 105. I think he got three pounds for that. Up to 108. Yeah, three pounds. Only a six year old. Um, I thought uh, that'd be worth a pint win tomorrow. And where are we here? Of a bus horse run at seven o'clock. Blind beggar. It was 11 to two a while ago. It won for us first time out in England and it drifted out to six to one, five to one on fifteenth uh, of December, and then they ran it back in Newcastle, and it front ran in Southall, and Southall is something similar to uh, the surface in Chelmsford, but uh, he let it go that day from the front, and didn't. But he, the last time then he pulled it back and the horse sort of sulked a bit, I thought. To buy total commitment right around the inside, well in touch, and Montegalli is last of the five. 
So entering the home straight now and just over two and a half furlongs to gallop. Blind beggar, total commitment now being wound up on the right. Abrama Gold under pressure as well. Then Embor on the left. Motagalli angling out. Just gave Embor a little bit of a knock there as they race on towards the final furlong. Is Blind Beggar total commitment on the far side? They're fighting it out from Abrama Gold. Inside the final furlong. Blind Beggar holding on at the moment. Total commitment. Trying to come back far side, but Blind Beggar is very stoic indeed. And Blind Beggar. So I was at six furlongs that day. Six furlongs the last day. This is back to five. If uh, Ali Rollinson is on uh, this time, just let him bounce out and make the, the pace. Uh, I think there's every chance it does. I was had it down as a each way bet there earlier at 11 to 2. It's gone into uh, 9 to 2 now. So you're 7 to 2 with a lot of them. Um, I'd be hoping that uh, that'll be competitive as well tomorrow. There is another bus horse running tomorrow, but I I didn't get a chance the last hour to look at um, a couple. Of, we had Mongol Imper the last day it ran. Um, now, it's good to soft tomorrow. And it was soft to sort of nearly too soft for him. It was heavy the time before. And it has run its best races and it won it won uh, two races there over hurls on good to soft ground. Any time it ran with real cut, uh, even heavy, soft, it, it didn't do any good. So maybe tomorrow if the ground is, the better the ground, I don't know what the ground is like. It says good to soft there, but I got it wrong a few times lately. Uh, maybe anyone that is in a forgiving mood that might... Uh, Go at that tomorrow, maybe. What price is there? Five to one. There isn't any money for it. See how the market goes in the morning, maybe, whatever. But it's not a great day's racing tomorrow, anyway. The big racing is coming the weekend. I was looking at some of the prices there earlier. Uh, uh, hard to know what Willie Mullins is going to do. He's appreciated. And Dysart Dynamo entered in the two mile race. Both of them think are seven to four, and I thought th that he might have been appreciated in the uh, the two and a half mile race, but I don't think it's entered in it. Uh, so I'd be interested to see which one uh, Paul Townend chooses, and then we'll know in the morning around half ten. Uh, Mighty Potter is nine to four for Sunday. That. Uh, bus horse napped by Stieg the last time when it ran in uh, Fairy House so we'll be hoping that that will go in on Sunday and go to Cheltenham with a live chance in the Turners uh, the bumper will tell its tale as well we'll see what uh, what will come out of the bumper on Saturday it's the Mayor's bumper on Sunday well he has two I think in it uh, one owned by JP so uh, we'll be back tomorrow uh, with the weekly show of myself and the Stig and uh, I'll be back Friday evening then and I'll try and do a preview of the two days uh, and I'll get some input as well from the Stig for the two days uh, I don't know can we do it together he's checking it out uh, to see is there a tech way of doing it I don't know in Stigland but uh, he's a busy camper this weather anyway anyway bash the bookies over and out